What is going on guys, it's Kiwi here and welcome back to another one of my videos. On today's video we're going to be looking at Gods of Olympus and in particular we're going to be going through a little bit about base design, also environmental suggestions and hero suggestions. So make sure that you share this video with anyone who's in your alliance. If you're in an alliance on Gods of Olympus then point them in the direction of this video and hopefully it will help them to build a better base which will then ultimately give them more trophies which will give your alliance more trophies which will push you higher up the rankings which is ultimately what you guys want to do as well as having lots of fun. So basically what normally happens with this game is when you're in the early levels you'll find that you're, the best sort of design you want to be using is a compact base. Have your buildings close together to maximize the defensive abilities when you're being attacked. As you get to the mid ranges you'll find that you then need to spread your spread your buildings out a little bit, spread your temples out, make it so that they've got to travel so it takes them longer to get to the to destroy the entire base and then as you get to the higher levels you'll find that the bases are bigger, they're compact again, they're like super powerful basically. So now to build a better base that you've got what you have to do really is sort of, I wouldn't say it's cheating, but it's sort of, this is the best method to use. What you need to do is, if you're high level, you want to go on the leaderboard, have a look on the leaderboard, and find somebody who is around your level. Now bear in mind that some people might be in like the top alliances, which might give them a slightly better defensive buff than maybe you'll be able to achieve if you're not in, in a really high alliance, but it's... It's not, it's not going to be too much of a buff that they're going to get from it. So if you have a look on what I've done on my video on my base is I found a base that was just, just below the level number of mine and it had about three or four hundred more defensive trophies. So I've only got about 3,700 defensive trophies and this base had like four, nearly 4,100. So I know I'm not going to probably achieve that but what I should be able to get is I should at least be able to get a one or two hundred trophy boost on my base by using that base as my template. It's so what everyone does in the game. They go out there and they say, what, what's, a, what's a good base? And the ones in the know will go, well, I know that Mr. Mr. Smith's got a good base. I'm going to copy that base. And so that is what you need to do. So you're going to have to go to, and if you're a lower level player, what you'll need to do is you need to go into the top 100 alliances and find in there players that have got more defense trophies than you that are around your level and that is how you find that and what you need to do then is you either need to take some screenshots or you need another device which is what I used I had a I had a an old iPad that had an account on it so I was able to get to that base so I had it in front of me all the time but the other method is obviously the screenshots then what you do is you basically you copy the heck out of that base and that will then give you that boost that you need that'll make you that little bit better, your defense will be better, you'll get more resources, you'll be able to get your gods up better, make them more powerful, and that is the basis of making a better base, basically. <laughs> like, I'll try not to say base any more times. Other than that, I like now the environment suggestions, I would say that right as of right now, we're looking at Athena, Poseidon, Apollo, and Aphrodite are the four most used environments in my opinion. I've a little bit of a scout round and opinions from other people. Those four are, are the most picked. And the Ares and Zeus, you'll see them a couple of occasions. Now the ones you don't want to be using are, and I've got it on my list here, <laughs> Hades, Artemis, and Hermes, you, st you still won't see that one that those about very much at the high levels at all. Which is a bit of a shame because Hades, I, I do love the Hades environment. It's so much fun having all those reanimated troops. But they're not used very much, so they obviously aren't going to be the ones we want to be looking at right now. Now heroes, unfortunately Odysseus is by far the best hero out there. You need to have Odysseus, not the other guys. You'll find that Hercules is a little bit too slow. Anyone, you've only got to just, just run around him. But Odysseus is really intelligent and he is such a pain to defeat. And he will do a good job defending your base. So go for Odysseus and you can't go wrong. Other than that, 
what I would say is rule 101, tell everybody this, make sure they watch this video, rule 101, no charmables when the Aphrodite temple is up. That Aphrodite temple, it may work at lower levels, you'll find that, you know, you can get away with dropping hot plights and archers and tents when it's a low level base, even if it's got an Aphrodite tower, it's not gonna do much charming. But when you get to helping out people that have got big bases that they're attacking, if that Aphrodite, t <laughs> Aphrodite tower is up, do not drop hot plights or archers or tents, or they will just be instantly charmed and they will attack your gods and you will be left with the person who is asking for help, sometimes that's me, being slightly annoyed because they've basically lost the battle due to you using the wrong types of troops. The ones you can use are skeletons and the fish guys, the hero warriors, Spartans and acolytes. Now I would suggest using skeletons. I pretty much always use skeletons regardless of the base because you know that they can't be charmed and they will just go in there and they will get the job done. So that is why I was, that's personally, I just use skeletons. So do not, I've told you now, do not use those charmable troops if that Aphrodite tower is up. You've been told, you've been, you've been warned. Don't do it. Another good bit of news is there is now on my Discord server, what used to be a 250 gem weekly giveaway is now a 1000 gem weekly giveaway. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning that, the, the draw takes place on a Tuesday on my live stream, which is on YouTube. So be on the YouTube on Tuesday at eight o'clock GMT UK time. And by before the end of the live stream, I'll have announced who has won a thousand gems. So, to do, so that is really super excited. I am really chuffed about that. Thank you so much to the creator of the game for kindly donating those gems and allowing me to do this giveaway. And it gets, it means that we can give, you know, giving something back to the to the players, which is super awesome. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button because that'd be super awesome. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.